Hi, my name is Alvaro. Welcome back to The Basement and a new video of ABC Guitar Workshop. As you might know by now, the submission deadline for the Great Guitar Build of 2021 is at the end of June, that is in three months from today. And I am still gathering all the materials that I need and finishing the last details of the design, but I am going to begin very soon. In the meantime, I have been setting in this new workspace. I have a cabinet with all of my tools, I have a desk where I can work, and although I still want to do some adjustments in the room, such as lifting this table because it's a bit low, I work standing up most of the time, and I also want to put tools on this wall, but I'm doing those things slowly. I have been also making progress with my other projects, such as the upcycling project that I mentioned in my previous video, and that's what I'm going to do on today's video. I am going to show you what I've done with those guitars, so please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, write it down in the comments and please like this video to support the channel. Let's begin. The Upcycle series is the project where I search the internet for guitars that are not receiving proper care or are even suffering from domestic violence. I would collect them and try to understand their needs and potentials. I will make any adjustments that are necessary to the wood, as well as upgrading their hardware in order to get the best out of them and find them a new home where they can make somebody happy and make amazing music. Now, it turns out that working on three guitars at the same time can get kind of messy, so bear with me and I will try to explain myself as best as I can. I am going to install a kill switch on every guitar, so the first thing that I'm going to do is to drill the hole for the kill switch on the pick guards. This is for an HH strat or a strat with two humbuckers. The next one is an HSS with one humbucker and two single coils. The other strut is also an HSS that has a black pick guard. Once the pick guards are drilled, I can use them to mark the guitar bodies and know where to do the cabinets. I am going to do this to every guitar and then I can proceed to use the router to route the cavities for the wiring. There it is, it's looking pretty good so far. I am going to paint the cavities with a black shielding paint. It's gonna look better and it's gonna improve sound conductivity. I'm using the multimeter to measure different pickups and find a unique setup for each guitar. I am mainly using 500k pots with their respective capacitors and resistors. I am really enjoying this opportunity to work with resistors again and learn more about them. So I have to use resistors on the three-way switch and the five-way switch of both HSS guitars. Now I am going to connect the kill switch and I will show you how I do it. I use three wires, one for the hot signal and one for the ground that go to the output jack and an additional ground that goes to the casing of the master volume. So the output jack has four wires. One goes to the ground of the master volume, the other one is the hot signal from the master volume, another one goes to the ground of the kill switch, and another one is the hot signal from the kill switch. I will finish wiring the pickguards for the three guitars, but now let's move on to the next. 
Two of them have a rosewood fretboard and the other one has a brighter fretboard with black dot inlays. I guess it's maple, but I'm not sure. And I painted the headstock of this one, but I did it off camera. Then I'm moving on to the fret dressing process to make sure that there are no sharp ends and that the frets are level. I know that a lot of people are against the use of steel wool because it can damage the pickups, but remember that these necks are not attached to the bodies yet, so I don't think that it's irresponsible to do it. Then I'm using the Dario Lemon Oil to humidify the fretboards. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it makes a big difference and it's very satisfying to do it. With that done, I can move on to the assembly process. I'm going to start with the tuning pegs and string trees on the headstock. Then I can fix the neck to the body. These are bolt-on necks with four screws and a neck plate like struts typically are. I normally use electric and manual screwdrivers for this process. The next step before installing the pig guard is fixing the bridge. Once the neck and the bridge are in place, I can install the pig guard, connect the output jack, install the springs of the tremolo system and string the guitar. And here is the first one, tobacco sunburst finishing, cream pick guard, kill switch, five way switch, two single coils and a humbucker. Maple neck with a skunk stripe on the back and a rosewood fretboard. This one comes after the suggestions that some people gave me after my previous video. Black finishing and black pick guard with a matching black headstock. This one also has a kill switch and the three-way switch that works for the neck and bridge pickups. The middle pickup has an independent volume knob, so you actually have much more possibilities than with the traditional five-way switch. Finally, we have the HH Strat. This pickup setup is more common on guitars like Les Pauls, SGs or Explorers. It also has a kill switch, a three-way switch and a slim headstock. So here is the first batch of the Upcycle series. I will make a sound check on a future video, so make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching my video, stay tuned and stay healthy.